Blessings upon you. It's such an awesome day to rise up and to give praise and thanks unto the Lord. The God of Abraham really blesses and keeps us. Hallelujah. It's awesome to be in this uh, powerful prayer time. This is prayer time commanded your morning. I'm going to use a text to just bring to the fore uh, what we are going to be praying and pushing into the atmosphere of our day. The text is taken from Genesis chapter number 20 and 4. I'm going to read verses 12. So 24, 12. I'm going to read verses 12 of Genesis chapter number 24. And he said, this is Eliezer, the servant or the steward in the house of Abraham. And he said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray thee, I pray thee, uh, send me, send me uh, good speed this day, this day, and show kindness unto my master Abraham. So this is Eliezer. He's sent by Abraham to get a bride for Isaac. So when we look at what the text is revealing, you have the Trinity. Abraham represents God the Father in the earth realm. Eliezer represents the Holy Ghost. Isaac represents the son who was sacrificed on Mount Moriah. Uh, who was almost sacrificed, but God provided the substitute. Now, Rebecca represents the church, and so the Holy Spirit is going to prepare the church to bring her to, hallelujah, the, the, the bridegroom. It's important to understand that the prayer that Eliezer releases here is a powerful prayer. He speaks of good speed. And so today we are going to pray for good speed. W good speed means smooth transition. Father, we thank you for smooth transition in this day. We thank you that the Trinity ha has loved us. Uh, you loved us before we even understood what love is. And so because you loved us first, we love you right now and we give you praise. We have sinned. We have come short of your glory. All have sinned. All have come short of your glory. We, we have no dog in this fight today, but because of the covenant, because of the blood, because of the witness, because of the water, the word, and because of the spirit, we can draw close. We can come nigh to the throne of grace because of the vicarious sacrifice. We can stand the shore. We have confidence. We can quote from the Romans chapter number 8, there is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ, who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit we stand predominate today we stand on your word we know that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can think and we can ask we pray for good speed today over our families we pray for smooth transition over our loved ones we pray for smooth transition over the nation of Trinidad Tobago we pray for smooth transition Lord over the leaders of our nation over the leaders of this nation is excel excel Excellency, the President, the Honorable Prime Minister, we pray for the opposition leader, we pray for the Chief Justice and the Chief Secretary. These offices are so important. We thank you for touching, my God, everyone that functions under the purview of these leaders, these heads in our nation. We pray for smooth transition in every area that concerns our energy sector, our banking sector, every area that concerns our agriculture, yes, our food security. We pray that you are going to have a hand in Tobago. Have a hand in Trinidad. My God, we need smooth transition. We don't have all the answers. So we are asking you, as Eliezer asks you, oh God of my master Abraham, we need smooth transition. We pray for the five pillars of our society now. We pray for marriage. We pray for the church. We pray for education, the government. We pray, my God, that you're going to hold these families together, hold marriages together, education, the government, the church. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray that you are going to intervene in areas, my God, where we need intervention. We don't have the ability to cipher out what you're about to do except we read through your word. We don't have all the variables and the answers, so we look to you. Hallelujah. We bring to you that which you instruct us to do when we pray. Your word declares that we should pray. Men should pray. Yes, men are always to pray and not to faint. So we pray today and we begin to command my God the morning and the moments that are lying ahead of us. We decree and declare as John the Baptist said it. Every valley is going to be exalted. We need smooth transition. Every hill is going to be brought down. We need smooth transition. Every rough road is going to be made smooth. Every crooked road is going to be made straight. We need smooth transition. We decree and declare that you're going to give us good speed in every area. In the a.m. In the p.m. In the first watch. In the second watch. 
in the third watch and the fourth watch. We decree and declare as we go through this day. We command our moments that are going to hold our seconds. Our seconds are going to open doorways to minutes. And our minutes are going to reveal the hours. Hallelujah. We thank you that the hours are going to reveal days unto us. And the days are going to bring weeks to bear. In the name of Jesus. And weeks are going to open up months. And months are going to open up years. We pray for smooth transition through the year 2018. We know that years are going to open up decades. And decades are going to open up. Hallelujah. Centuries and centuries are going to bring my God millennia. And millennia are going to bring generations. And generations are going to bring us into eternity. We decree and declare that you are eternal. You are the God of Abraham. You are the God of Isaac. You are the God that will give us good speed this day. Lord, the steps that we're about to take, order our steps. Cause our words to have weight. Cause our words not to fail. Cause our words, my God, to ascend up to you. Let the words of our mouth, the meditation of our heart, let it be acceptable in thy sight. We pray over our landmass. We pray over the Atlantic hurricane season. We pray over the coast of Trinidad. We pray over the coast of Tobago. We decree and declare that this season would be a season where we are going to walk in and we're going to walk out. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. Smooth transition. Oh God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, have mercy upon Tobago. Have mercy upon Trinidad. Have mercy upon everything pertaining to my God, our infrastructure, our GDP. Oh yes. Everything that we are producing. Lord, we decree and declare our losses in this season. Ah yes, as going to be below what we are going to have. Yes, the ability to produce. We thank you that our losses and everything that we are praying for will never overtake that which our blessings are going to come into fruition with. We pray that production will come. We pray that momentum will come. We pray, my God, that forward movements will take hold of our people. Retardation, lack, yes, worry, doubt. We, come, we cancel and we come against all these negative implications. We decree and declare that you are the one that is going to send Eliezer, that is going to cause Rebecca to come to the well. That you are the one that is going to keep Abraham to see the wife of my God Isaac. We decree and declare, Lord, the Trinity is on our side. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, working over time to bring to fruition the things that concern the kingdom of heaven. We thank you that the bride is being arranged. We decree and declare that the groom, hallelujah, is ready. We thank you that the Spirit and the bride say, Come, Lord Jesus. We thank you for the preparation. We thank you for the saints of God that have been prepared. We thank you for the word that is preparing us even now. We thank you for those that are on a bed of affliction that healing is guaranteed. We thank you that victory is guaranteed. Blessings are guaranteed. Yes, your love is guaranteed. While we are here in this earth realm, while we wait for you to arrive, while prayers have been offered, like Eliezer, we pray for smooth transition. While we are here praying, we know that heaven is able to hear. Heaven Heaven is able to answer. Heaven is able to respond. Heaven is able to release bountiful blessings. Give us this day our daily bread. Open up new ways for us this day. As we pray, hallelujah, as we prepare for what is about to happen, we thank you for the Holy Ghost that is preparing. We thank you for the Holy Ghost that is convicting this world, convicting the believer of righteousness, convicting this world of sin. We pray that the Holy Spirit will rest upon us this day. We command our moments we command our morning we command this month my god we command the airwaves we command our uprising we command our down sitting we decree and declare it like deuteronomy 28 blessed in your going out blessed in your coming in blessed in your uprising yes blessed in your down sitting blessed uh, my god on the highways blessed in the country blessed in the city blessed in the fields those of you that are moving rising up blessings over your families blessings over your day Blessings over your momentum. Blessings over your seasons. Oh, hallelujah. Blessings over your timeline. Blessings over your finances. Blessings over your ministry. Blessings over your children. Blessings over everything pertaining to this season. We decree and declare in our lives, in our people, in our children, in our nation, we cancel tragedy. We cancel destructive demonic elements. We decree and declare over the atmosphere. 
of Tobago, over the atmosphere of Trinidad, those demonic elements that are released to bring murder, mayhem, destruction, to cause sin to abound. We decree and declare grace much more abounds. And so we pray into our day to day. We pray into the momentum of our day. We pray into the frequency of our day. We pray into the atmosphere of our day. Oh God of our master Abraham, God of the Lord and Father Jesus Christ, we decree and declare that you are able, hallelujah, to send forth the Holy Ghost to put the church in order. Lord, put us in order. Many times we are out of order. Many times we are not where we should be. But we pray, my God, that the Holy Ghost will intercede with groanings that cannot be uttered. We thank you for the intercessor that you have sent alongside us, the paracletus, to prepare us for the next level, to prepare us for the next moment, to prepare us for the next season. We thank you for releasing a blessing upon our children. We decree and declare phenomenal things are going to happen to those that are transitioning into high schools, those that are transitioning into universities, those that are transitioning into six levels. We decree and declare now over all the schools and my God, all the institutions of learning and tertiary level, we pray my God as resounding blessing upon our children. We cancel every negative effect, those that are trying to abuse and those that are trying to misuse, those that are trying to perpetrate upon our children. We cancel evil eyes and we cancel evil associates we decree and declare now smooth transition smooth transition over their lives smooth transition over every family we lift them up before you today we thank you for what you're about to release over the atmosphere of our nation we are not afraid the gates of hell you give us a sure word shall not prevail we decree and declare a Luke 10 19 whatever the enemy is trying whatever the enemy is planning we tread upon serpents come on we tread upon scorpions we arise with the authority that you have vested in us you have given us power over all the powers of the enemies we have a sure word that the gates of hell shall not prevail and so Lord we thank you for the anointing we thank you for momentum we decree and declare smooth transition good speed over the atmosphere we command the day spring to arise to rip from top to bottom every evil work of darkness every perpetrated every signal that has been sent from hell debt the grave the abyss every curse that have come yes to rest upon our lives to cause by God things to go haywire and things to go wrong and things to go negative and things to go my God into a toxic my God spur we decree and declare we are non-responsive to toxicity we are non-responsive to the voice of the enemy we are non-responsive to curses and hexes and vexes and voodoo and hoodoo and things that have been planned and planted in our day we decree and declare the light will arise and shine that Darkness grows, darkness according to Isaiah has covered the people. But arise, shine, your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. We decree and declare like the psalmist David, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, yes, when those that try to come up against us and to eat our flesh, they will stumble and they will fall. We speak forth Psalm 91 over the atmosphere, the dwelling place. When we pray in secret, our heavenly father will reward us openly so he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high you shall abide under the shadow of the almighty you shall say of the lord he is your refuge he is your fortress your god my god in him will we trust give us a good speed give us transition today give us transformation today give us a shift today give us a challenge today give us the ability to look up and to look to you from whence are we going to find help our help is not coming from the hills and the mountains it's coming from you maker of heaven and earth you will not suffer our foot to be moved he that keepeth thee will neither slumber nor sleep and so we decree and declare lord smooth transition our feet are not going to yes our walk is not going to fall our feet my god are going to be steadfast we are going to have the entire Entire weaponry that you have given to us, we're going to use it with the effectiveness. We decree and declare even now, Lord, that you're going to release your choicest blessings over our lives. We thank you for what you're about to, yes, put my God into our day. The armor is there. Hallelujah. The breastplate is there. Our feet, yes, shrouded with the preparation of the gospel of peace. We thank you for the shield of faith, the sword of the spirit, helmet of salvation. We thank you for my God, the ability for us to use this armor in season, instant in season, even out of 
of season, we decree and declare that your word is so important that it's going before. Yes, the grass is going to wither. The flowers are going to fade, but your word is going to abide forever. So we use your word today. We speak for your word. We decree and declare healing is being released to every household. My God, virtues have been released over our atmosphere. We rebuke, we reverse every demonic infiltration over our atmosphere, over our people, over our minds, over our day, over everything that is pertaining to our going forth and our blessing. We thank you that our blessings and everything that we are going to receive is going to come to fruition in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that we have smooth transition in this day. We have smooth transition in this hour. We have smooth transition in this moment of time. Good speed be upon your life. Good speed be upon your families. Good speed be upon your businesses. Good speed be upon your homes as you rise up. Good speed over everything pertaining to your day. Command your morning. Walk in your day as a champion. Act as a champion. Don't be afraid of the terror. Don't be afraid of the arrow that is going to come. Don't be afraid of the pestilence. Don't be afraid uh, of what God is releasing. You are a kingdom citizen. You are blessed in every area. You are blessed in your going out. You are blessed, hallelujah, as you rise up. Your family is blessed. Your home is blessed. The word of God says so, and we stand upon it. We decree and declare that the word of God is going to abide. It's going to bring everything. Yes, into fruition. The invisible is going to come visible. We are blessed with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And so I decree and declare, take your blessings. Hallelujah. Name them. Count your blessings today. You are blessed to be a blessing. You are blessed to receive everything that God has in store for you. And so, Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the release that is coming to our lives. We thank you for the fullness. We command our day. We command our morning. We thank you that you are indeed in charge of everything pertaining to our day, our rising up, our down sitting, our going forth. We thank you for the express presence of your power. We thank you for what you're releasing into our day. We thank you for the fullness. We thank you for what you are bringing to the fore. We thank you for blessing our leaders. We thank you for the tacticians that you have released into the church, the apostolic anointing, the prophetic anointing. We thank you for the evangelical anointing. We thank you for the teachers, the pastoral anointing. We thank you that these tacticians are coming to the fore and the gates of hell shall not prevail. We thank you for the momentum that you have given to the church at this season. For the next six months, I decree and declare that you have acceleration over your ministry, over your lives, over everything that God has released to you. Our children are accelerating. Yes, our businesses are accelerating. Our ministries are accelerating. Everything that God has released to you is accelerating. The enemy cannot pace or match. He does not have the equipment to match what God is about to release from the heavenlies. And so, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us now this day, this very day, our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Every trap, every snail, the enemy Enemy, lead us not into those traps, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, thine is the power, thine is the glory forever and ever. We thank you, Lord, for what you're releasing. We thank you for this day. We thank you for this moment. We give you praise. We give you honor for what we're about to walk into and what we're about to receive and what we're about to have. We give you praise and we give you thanks for our food that is coming. We give you praise and thanks for blessings that are on the way, wonderful surprises, checks in the mail, bills paid off. We thank you for what we're about to receive in this day and we give you praise. Now the Lord bless you today. The Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you and the Lord give you shalom in Jesus' name smooth transition in Jesus mighty name amen and amen